She's coming over there. When you're running a marathon, you have to stay really hydrated and drink lots of fluids. But you can't drink all water, or else you'll be in trouble. You have to drink electrolytes, too. Get your electrolytes, Suze. But look, Suze Roots is a marathon runner, and she can control any liquids that go into her body. Not every organism is like that. This freshwater fish, for instance, is different. It takes in excess water uncontrollably. Now, what's so different in a fish that allows it to control its water balance while living in water? And to find those answers, we need to go fishing. Exercise, our bodies lose a lot of water, and without water, we won't survive. Even when we're submerged in water, we still need to drink fluids to replace what we've lost. Now, if Rob were to try to drink the salt water around him, whoa, he'd be in serious trouble. So, if Rob could potentially die from drinking salt water, how do the fish under him do it? Maybe they all have support boats. Nah, they would have to have another way. So let's stop and take a look at what happens when Rob takes a drink of water. Okay, so this is how it works. When the water reaches Rob's intestines, it's taken up into the blood system and then distributed to cells. You see, the cells in our bodies contain water, plus a whole bunch of other molecules and ions. The water we drink doesn't have as many ions, though. This creates a concentration gradient between the outside and the inside of the cell membrane. The cell membrane contains aquaporin molecules that enable water molecules to pass into the cell, but most other molecules and ions cannot. Fresh water therefore enters the cells to equalize the concentration gradient. This passive transport is called osmosis. Okay, now this still doesn't explain how those fish survive. I think we're gonna need some help. All right, to get the help we need, we're here in Boston Harbor with Professors Joe Levine and Ken Miller. Tell me a little bit about what animals deal with in this water, like it being or so salty. Sure, we're, we're in the ocean here. We're in the harbor, it's very salty, and the salt concentration in the open ocean is higher than the salt concentration in the animal's body. So that means they're constantly losing water through osmosis. In effect, they're drying out. So the way in which they cope with that is they produce a very, very concentrated urine that takes a lot of that salt out of the body. And that helps quite a bit. Also, inside their gills, they have special cells built into the gills that can actually pump salt out into the water as the water passes through their gills. So what they do is they drink constantly. So a saltwater fish will constantly be gulping water, that gives it plenty of water, but then basically it has to bail out the salt. And the kidneys and the glands that you see inside the, the gills take care of that job. When they're living in salt water, what they've got to do is save water and get rid of salt. Right. Their kidneys do some of that by getting rid of some salt and trying to pull back as much water as they can so they don't produce much urine and it's very concentrated. The process that we're dealing with here that the fish are having to overcome is osmosis. You know, the textbook says osmosis is the diffusion of water through a semi-permeable membrane. That's way too technical. What it amounts to is if the concentration of dissolved material, in this case salt, is higher on the outside than it is on the inside, water will move towards the higher concentration of dissolved material. So it tends to even things out. Right. Now, if you're a fish and you're in salt water, that means you're constantly going to be losing water. 
freshwater fish have the opposite problem. They're in freshwater. They tend to lose salt from their body. One of the interesting things about freshwater fish is, you might say, they're smart enough not to drink. Freshwater fish don't drink a lot of fresh water. If you're a freshwater fish, you're surrounded by water that's much more dilute than the fluids in your body. So that water tends to soak in. And what you have to do, basically, is try to minimize the amount of water that goes in and, above all, conserve salt. So they don't drink. And what they do instead is produce lots and lots of urine that's very dilute. In other words, it doesn't have much of the way of solutes in it, so they get rid of lots of water that way. And they have gills with glands in them that enable them to pump salt in. So here's the differences between fresh and saltwater fish. Freshwater fish don't drink water and produce a lot of dilute urine. Saltwater fish, on the other hand, well, they drink a lot of water and produce only a tiny amount of concentrated urine. And that's so that they can serve water. So the organs of fish and humans are overall pretty similar, but the functions of, say, freshwater and saltwater fish are pretty different. So until next time, never stop exploring your world. Out here fishing all day, and this is Ken's first fish. 